Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. In this episode, we are making Turkish homemade baklava. We're not gonna roll out the dough one by one. Instead, I have an easy method for you, but lots of tips to make it successful. And you can see the layers even so crunchy right now. It's gonna be delicious, let's make it. I have half cup each water, milk, vegetable oil, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon butter, it is optional, pinch of salt, one egg. I'm also gonna add vinegar for extra crunchiness because uh, most of the recipe uses, but uh, I didn't like the texture that much. It might happen because the vinegar I used was apple cider and uh, natural, homemade. So I would recommend you to uh, try without vinegar too. After the liquid ingredients, I'm adding close to four cups of flour along with baking powder and going to knead my dough. We want a soft, a playable, unsticky dough. In total, I used uh, close to four cups. Uh, three cups plus three fourth of a cup. We have a silky special flour for baklava, preferably with a high protein amount, but it is also possible to make it with all purpose flour. So now I'm gonna cut my dough into three pieces, and each piece I'm gonna make a lock again and cut into eight pieces. In my first baklava recipe I shared with you more than seven years ago, I used a similar recipe. The dough is same actually, but I made the balls smaller. For the amount of this dough, I made 48 balls. But over the years, I realized that uh, if you roll out the dough, more thinly, you don't have to uh, make the bowl smaller. It comes to the uh, same idea with lots of layers. But it's up to you, you can even make it more uh, smaller if you like. Uh, then you don't have to roll out the dough that much. So now I have three batches of uh, eight pieces of dough. And I'm going to begin with the first batch, roll out my dough into about 24 cm in diameter using only wheat starch. Make sure we are using starch. It can also be corn, but we prefer to make it with wheat if we can find. And with the help of the starch, we will create our layers. Between each layer I use plentiful of starch as you can see. Make sure to have a nice coat of starch and continue to roll out the other pieces. My first batch is done. I'm gonna do the same with the other two batches. Meanwhile, I would like to remind you if you like and enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and press the bell notification buttons for more recipes. And you can always support me just by liking, commenting and sharing my videos on your social media. So I have my three batches ready, beginning from the first one since it will be rested for a while. I begin to roll out my dough. From time to time you can uh, change a uh, flip couple of pieces of dough and uh, to uh, see if it has enough starch between the layers you can always sprinkle some more. 
it is better to uh, let me mention it again to use enough starch between each layers when we are first rolling out the batches and continue to roll out until it is uh, bigger than the size of the pan we gonna use well here I use my oklava I wanted to show you it is optional but it uh, helps to uh, create some air between the each layer to prevent sticking so from time to time you can uh, roll out to a thinner oklava uh, rolling pin if you have uh, to help separate the pieces but again for years I made this recipe only using a rolling pin so it is still optional but it's a, a good option and a way of making your baklava even thinner and lighter my round baking pan is about is 40 cm in diameter I'm cutting the excess dough part I'm gonna uh, use them between the layers and separate couple of pieces for the bottom uh, if you separate the layers one by one or a couple of them at least uh, it will make air between the uh, layers so it will be lighter and more crunchy this is another update I made over the years for the recipe and use the excess dough again between the layers and then you place the first batch we can place our walnut layers I used in total 350 grams of walnuts and it was plentiful enough and you can use a little bit less if you want and for each layer I used about one and a half cups of coarsely chopped walnuts let me quickly show the same process for the second batch another useful tip you can wrinkle the dough batches after you roll it out again this would also help to separate the each layer and continue to spread the layers baklava masters also use oils between the layers but it should be very less they have this special a gadget for it it is called baklava yağ süpürgesi so I wanted to imitate it with sprinkling some oil between the layers and you might also use a spritz bottle for it you see how thin the sheet becomes you can see my hand even so beautiful So I'm ready to add the final layers and these are the most important layers to have that the traditional look of baklava with thin layers on top. So I would suggest at least uh, try to separate the layers again for the top final layers. We have special expression for that too among the baklava masters, yüzlük atma. They of course make it with the uh, filo sheets that has been rolled out one by one but you can imitate it uh, with, with this recipe too. So I'm gonna use the uh, final tin and the most beautiful uh, sheets on top of my baklava. You can again sprinkle some uh, oil between them secure it from the sides and it's ready for cutting and pouring the butter 
I have 250 grams of butter unsalted. We need that much oil. Some recipes use even more. And we're gonna collect the foam part after it is melted to prevent having brown spots on top of our baklava. And you can also use unsalted ghee for it. To cut your baklava, use a sharp knife and cut it with one move if possible so the layers won't stick to each other. Traditionally, we cut the cevizli baklava, baklava with walnuts in diamond shape. If you use a dough cutter or a ruler maybe, uh, you end up having more uh, straight lines. And before I complete my cutting, I pour the melted butter so it will be easier to cut. There is also another way of cutting the baklava. You end up having a star shape in the whole look. Uh, I'm gonna add the links. I already shared uh, that pattern, so you can make that too. I sent my baklava to bake at 180 Celsius degree preheated oven. And meanwhile, I'm gonna make my syrup. I made my sherbet with 5 cups of sugar and 3 plus 4 of a cup of water. Adding 1 lemon wedges along with a teaspoon of lemon juice. And first boil, closing the lid. And after it is boiled, continue to boil for about 10 to 15 minutes until it thickens. How are you going to understand? You pour the sherbet from high above and check the last drops. The last final drops should be heavy or should be oozing, I can say. Then we understand that it is thick enough. Let's check the baklava. I lowered the temperature to 160 Celsius degree after half an hour and continue to cook for one hour and 15 minutes. Turn it over a little bit, check the bottom and the inside and cooked for 10 more minutes until I have nice golden color on top and bottom. If you haven't give your thumbs up yet, this is where you do now. And we are in the final step, then to pour the syrup over the baklava. In this homemade cevizli ev baklavası, we pour syrup at room temperature to the baklava that has been cooled for five minutes, so it is still warm, but not very hot. But the traditional and commercial recipes pour the hot syrup over hot baklava. And I decided to try that and made another version of a baklava with pistachio, havuç baklava. I used the same recipe with the half amount. I'm gonna share it in the upcoming episode. But if you stick to the tips I gave you and use just enough starch for the layers, it is also possible to pour hot syrup over the hot baklava to keep it crunchy for a longer time. So my friends, I wanna show you, I can see the layers I made this for you during the Ramadan so you can make it for Eid and enjoy it. Of course, I'm gonna taste it after the iftar. Uh, make sure to try and share your photos with me from my Instagram and Facebook accounts Turkish Food and Travel. I have many other baklava recipes on my channel, you can check from the links. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.